When Lacey Fletcher was found in her parents' living room, emergency responders could hardly believe their eyes or noses. Her body had melted into a couch she had apparently been laying on for years. How did things get this bad for Lacey? Let's recap. When it comes to horror stories, it doesn't get much worse than this. The 911 call came in on January 3rd, 2022, around 2 a.m. Sheila Fletcher needed help for her daughter Lacey. She wasn't breathing. When emergency responders showed up, to their shock, they learned there is much more to this story. Lacey Fletcher sat in her own feces and urine for years. Over time, the stinking mess melted a body-sized hole through the upholstery and foam padding down to the couch springs. Human waste warped warped the wooden floorboards under the couch, too. Open sores covered her backside, eating away her flesh down to the bone. Maggots lived in her hair. Feces was smeared on her face, chest, and stomach. It may have been 12 years since she moved off the couch. It's been reported that Lacey allegedly suffered from a rare nervous system disorder called locked-in syndrome. It's just as horrific as it sounds. At its worst, people dealing with locked-in syndrome are aware of everything going on around them, but they can't move a muscle, only their eyes. Other sources say this allegation is completely false. It's not clear how much mobility Lacey had at the end, but she was found sitting up with her legs crossed under her. Her parents, Sheila and Clay Fletcher, were her primary caregivers. They say Lacey had a long history of social anxiety and severe autism. Back in the early 2000s, she allegedly saw a therapist, but by the time she died, she flat out refused to leave the living room. They set up a toilet for her and brought her food, but she was afraid to leave the couch. When first responders showed up, they say her body was practically fused to it. It wasn't always like this. Reports say Lacey went to school in Baton Rouge until the ninth grade. Neighbors say she played with other neighborhood kids and was on the volleyball team. But when she was around 14 years old, everything changed. She left Brownsville Baptist Academy and was homeschooled. The last time anyone remembers seeing her was when she was in her early 20s. She was reported still physically active back then, but she didn't leave the house much or have any social life to speak of. Her parents say at one point they considered having her committed to a medical facility, but she didn't want to leave, so they gave it up, according to the district attorney's statements to local news. Despite how it looks, the Fletchers say they're innocent. They say they did what they could for her, including cleaning her bed sores, and she didn't complain about her living conditions. However, they told authorities that sometime in the fall of 2021, Lacey started eating less and less. At 36 years old, she weighed less than 100 pounds. But according to the coroner, there were signs that she was eating the couch foam and her own feces. Both were found in her stomach. How could her condition get so bad? That's the question the district attorney in their hometown of East Feliciana Parish, Louisiana is asking. The coroner called it homicide, medical neglect so heinous no one can remember a worse case. Now, this was not a family you'd expect to face charges like this. Both mom and dad were active in their church and pillars of their small community. Sheila was a town alderman, an elected official representing residents from her district on the city council. She also worked as a clerk for a nearby police force before assisting the city prosecutor in nearby Zachary, Louisiana. Her husband, Clay, was an active part of the Baton Rouge Civil War Roundtable. According to the New York Post, it's a nonprofit on a mission to, quote, educate and foster an appreciation for the sacrifices made by all during the Civil War. If you saw their tidy house from the outside, you would never guess how their only child was living inside. Many of their neighbors didn't even even realize Lacey was still there. Others say they didn't know the couple had a daughter at all. In photos shown to the grand jury, there's a table set up near the couch with lotion, powder, wet wipes, and nasal spray. And a bunch of DVDs were stacked nearby along with a toilet and clean folded clothes. But when they found Lacey's body, she was only wearing a t-shirt which was allegedly pulled up above her breasts. And the skin on her backside had turned so dark it was hard to know what body part you were looking at, according to the Daily Mail who saw the same unprintable pictures the grand jury saw. If you're horrified by what you're hearing, imagine the grand jury's shock. In early May 2022, Sheila and Clay were indicted for second-degree murder. They bonded out of jail and went home, but that's not quite the end of this story. By the end of May 2023, the charges were dropped on a technicality, but the DA made some changes to the filing documents
statements and indicted them again for second-degree murder on June 19th. From here, it's up to a jury to decide their fate. But what do you think about this case? And that's your recap. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like getting all the crime in half the time, go ahead and tap that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss a story. We're here Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but don't go away. Catch up on more recaps right here, right now. Until next time, take care.